Red Roy fan. This is Buffy. Hello? Hello. Yes, Red Roy fan. This is Buffy. Can you fill me in on what's going on? What do you mean? Um, the CPD called the Hyatt Regency in downtown Cleveland, and they called my supervisor, and Ed Powell said, pull the phone records and get them over right now. Um, this is Red Roof, and this is a motel. No, I understand that. Okay, just one second. Okay. Hi there, this is Keith. What can I do for you? Hello, sir. It's Red Rufin. What can I do for you? Um, so, Mr. McLean, he said the front desk called the guest, and they called the Hyatt, so... I don't know what you're talking about, guy. What, what can I do for you? Can you fill me in on what's going on? I have no idea. You need to fill me in. You're the one that called me. <laughs> no, I, I don't understand even know what you're that. talking about. This this is the Red Roof Inn. This isn't a Hampton. This isn't whatever the Hilton yes. or wherever. Okay, yes. So what can I do for you? I understand. Um Okay. Uh, um This is the Hyatt Regency Cleveland at the arcade. Okay, and what can I do for you? Um Sorry, what was okay, that? Come on. I, I, I got a guest standing in front of me. We need to cut to the chase here. What can I do for you? So, from my understanding, someone staying at the hotel called Ed Powell, and Ed Powell called the phone number that's calling you, so my supervisor. He said, can I have the number to the hotel? And I said, yes. And he said, pull the phone records and get them over right now. So I said, I, we I can cooperate I, I with you. you. Yeah, so, that's a lot of Mr. He McLean, he said, he said guy, can I, get a I, hold of my GM. I, I feel right now we're at an impasse and there's nothing I can do to help you. No. Because I don't know what you're talking no. about. Could it be one no of the why. guests that are calling off the phones? I have, I, I, I have no idea. We don't know who calls out. No, I understand no that. We have no idea who calls out. So, well, you don't understand because here's the situation. We have no idea who's calling out, who they're calling, okay. why they're calling, or what it's about. That's not what I said. Okay, what can I do for you? Because right now we're at an impasse, and so I'm about ready to hang up. <laughs> Either if it's not concerning a room or something, there's nothing I can do for you. Can I have the phone records from one of the guests? No, you rooms? cannot. You cannot have nothing like that. Let's get real. You don't get no phone records. There is no such thing as phone records. Besides, we don't even know who you are. What makes you think we'd give phone records out to just any Joe Schmo that calls up and asks for phone records? Come on, guy. I'm it's the front office manager act. here at the Hyatt. Well, it's called it's called Privacy Act, man. Come on. Okay. Even, even even if we had phone records, we wouldn't give it out to you because we don't just let anybody call us and say, give me your phone records. Unless you're the FBI, it ain't going to happen. So right now we're at an impasse. And unless you want a room, there's nothing I can do for you, sir. Thank they you. They called 911 is what you're saying. Roger, friend, Susanna, how may I help you? Uh, uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Um, calling what station? This is this is the Cleveland Police Third District that you have. Um, I have no idea. It must be from one of the rooms, but I wouldn't be able to tell you which one. Okay. Uh, I'm listen to what I'm saying. We just had uh, several phone calls from this uh -huh. number. Okay, and the individual ha and we're leaving lewd and lascivious phone comes. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers and he also had other things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. Um, well I am at the front desk and I wouldn't be able to tell you from what room number that phone call came from. Why? Because each room has its own individual room, I mean phone, and I'm from the front desk. I cannot control all the phone calls in the rooms.
Uh, why? Um. Okay, who is this I'm talking to right now? Front desk. Okay. Okay. I don't know. We just received several phone calls from this number, okay, leaving lewd and lascivious remarks, not only to us, but for the captain and the lieutenant here. Yeah. Okay. Hello? Uh, is what? Yeah, so like I said, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to tell you where that phone call came from. Okay, who's calling this number? Who's calling us here at this district? That's what we want to know. Well, this is a hotel. This is Red Roof Inn. Okay. Uh, well, the, you do realize that this is the captain that you're talking with. I understand, and but I wouldn't be able to tell you um, where that phone Why? came from. This is our, this is our number, but we can't control the phone calls that come in and out of the rooms. Is there, is there anybody else that's calling? I don't know. We have a bunch of rooms. I wouldn't be able to tell you. Okay, which name? But it's not coming from the front desk. Okay, which name? My name is Anna. C U R R Y. Is what? Hmm. It's Anna A N A. No, you said R R what? Red Ruffin. Uh. Okay. Who is the who is there with you, Mr. Curry? Curry? C U R R Y? Are you talking about my name? Uh yes and Mr. Curry. Okay. Um my name is Anna. Uh is what? Anna. Who is the who is Mr. Curry, sir? Are you looking for a curry? Yes, and it was, sir. We have it on tape that, that we had two calls from this Mr. Curry. Okay. Okay. You need to fill me in. <laughs> I, I, okay. Red, red, right okay. Oklahoma City, this is Buffy. Okay, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? You called me. Hi there, this is Keith. What can I do for you? Keith, what can I do for you? No, you called me. This is Red Roof Inn. I have no idea. You need to fill me in. You're the one that called me. <laughs> I, I, I got a guest standing in front of me. We need to cut to the chase. Come on, guy. Let's get real. This isn't the Red Roof Inn. This isn't a Hampton. Man, come on. Thank all Red Roof Inn, Oklahoma City. It's Keith. I'm going to help you. Hi there. This is Keith. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Come on, guy. Let's get real. This isn't the Red Roof Inn. This isn't a Hampton. Man, come on. <laughs> you know, usually <laughs> high school kids do this kind of stuff. I've I've never heard of an adult. <laughs> doing prank calls to I, I I got a guest standing in front of me. We need to cut to the chase. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's get real. Red Roof Inn, Oklahoma City. We need to cut to the chase. Let's uh, get real. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Is this fun? <laughs> this I is don't know funny. who you are. <laughs> you're, you're a child, right? You're a child. This is called a place of business, but I don't know what you're talking about, guy. You probably you probably don't work, so you wouldn't know how <laughs> a place of business works, right? Is that what it is? We don't even know who you you've are. You've never you've never worked somewhere where you had a place of business. Is that what it is? <laughs> so you got a prank call motels? Yeah, that's no, it's funny, called it's it? called Privacy Act, man. Come on, Privacy Act. <laughs> Do you really know what the Privacy Act is? Do you know what one is? What makes you think we'd give what phone is, records out the, to just any Joe Schmo that calls up and asks for phone records? Come on, guy. No, 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 no. You brought it up. You brought it up. Explain to me, this ignorant front desk clerk, 
what the Privacy Act is and what it curtails. It you don't get no is. phone records. Phone records. What is phone records? There is no such thing as phone records. Is, phone? is that your phone bill? Is that what a phone record is, your phone bill? Is that what that is? Even even, even if we had phone a records, phone we wouldn't record? give it out to you because we don't just let anybody record? call us and I, I say, give me your phone records. I don't phone because I don't make enough money to own a phone. So why would I well, know it's what called, the It's called Act Privacy Act, Act man. Records. Come on. What is the Privacy Act? What is that? What is that? I have no idea. You need to fill me in. You're the one that what called me. <laughs> I, don't have to, I don't have to fill shit in, you know that? I don't have to do nothing. I don't know who you are. I don't have to, I don't have to do anything because you're just a prank juvenile caller. That Man, come on. You pick up a woman. That's come on, guys. You're into kids. <laughs> you're, you, you don't go out and pick up women or nothing. You're into kids. Come on, guy. That's why you We do, don't know who on, calls come out. On, come up with a better slogan than, come on, guy. Come on, guy. Good man, come on. Red Rupin, Oklahoma City. We need to cut to the chase. Let's uh, get real. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Is this fun? <laughs> this I don't know who you are. <laughs> you're, you're a child, right? You're a child. This is called a place of business, but I don't know what you're talking about, guys. You, prob you probably don't work, so you wouldn't know how a place <laughs> of business works, right? Is that what it is? We don't even know who you you've are. Never, you've never worked somewhere where you had a place of business. Is that what it is? <laughs> so you got a print call motels? Yeah, that's well, it's, funny, called, it's it? called Privacy Act, man. Come on. Privacy Act. <laughs> Do you really know what the Privacy Act is? Do you know what one is? What makes you think we'd give phone is, records out to just any Joe Schmo that calls up and asks for phone records? Come on, guy. No, 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 no. You brought it up. You brought it up. Explain to me, this ignorant front desk clerk, what the Privacy Act is and what it curtails. Exactly. You don't get no phone records. Phone records. What is phone records? There is no such thing as phone records. Is, phone? is that your phone bill? Is that what a phone record is, your phone bill? Is that what that is? Even, even even if we had phone a records, phone we wouldn't record. give it out to you because we don't just let anybody call us and I, I say, give don't, me I don't your own phone records. Phone because I don't make enough money to own a phone. So why would I well, know it's what called, the Privacy, it's called privacy Act, act man. Record. Come on. What is the Privacy Act? What is that? What is that? I have no idea. You need to fill me in. You're the one that what called me. <laughs> I, don't have to, I don't have to fill shit in. You know that? I don't have to do nothing. I don't know who you are. I don't have to. I don't have to do anything because you're just a prank juvenile caller. That Man, come on. Pick up a woman. That come on, guy. Is, you're in the kid. <laughs> you're, you, you don't go out and pick up women or nothing. You're in the kid. Come on, guy. That's why you. We do, don't know who on, calls come out. On, come up with a better slogan than "Come on, guy." Come on, guy. Good Man, boy. come on. Thank all Red Ripon, Oklahoma City. It's Keith. I'm help you. I'm returning the call that you guys called me. Hello. Frank Call Red Rio Pen, Oklahoma City. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What I'm you need? confused. What's the point that you guys are making a phone call? What are you guys trying to what's your cheat? <laughs> are you for real? Terrific. <laughs> this this is the extent of your life. Man, you you must have some hot. Oh, no, you ain't gonna have I'm the devil, dog. You're, you're That's who I am. calling a motel, so I guess you gotta <laughs> leave the woman out of it, right? <laughs> I'm saving yourself, motherfucker. Thank God. What's the point? What, what are you doing? Why are you so calling? Some sick white boy that wanna fucking let you. Face. You a chimo, man? What are you? What's up with you? Oh, I really? have so much fun with you. This is, this is, why don't you come ass. on down here to the motel and let's see how much of a man you are? Come hey, on, what, buddy. Let's see what. Let's do this here. Let's come do this come here. Come on down here to the motel. Yeah, I know it's fun. Give me your address. I come fuck you, you off at your house. You wear you panties. You wouldn't come down to the motel even if you wanted to, right? I asked you for an address That's and you don't right. have any. Oh, okay. That's I heard that. What's the fucking address? Yeah. I heard that. What's the fucking address? Google it if you know how to do that. Google it. Red Duke what can I do for you? Look, dog, I'm going to tell you again. You sound like a dumbass pig is what you sound like. Here's what's going to happen. It's like some sick white boy. I'm going to have him do a track on the phone, 
and I'm going to find out who you are because threatening an innkeeper and that kind of is. Ooh, I'm long. scared. Yeah, I know. I know it is. You got me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It, it's a shame you ain't got no life. You better sleep with one eye open tonight because I'm coming to get you tonight. You do that, buddy. I'm going to take you, you in your that. sleep. Uh, maybe to be the other way around. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Red Rip Pen. I heard that. What's the fucking address? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I get a pen. Give me your address. I'll come fuck you off at your house. Where you live at? Red Roof Inn, Oklahoma City. This is Buffy. How's it going? It's going great. Good. Um, well, my mother told me don't ever ask a woman how old they are, but do you mind saying how old you are? 38. That's okay. You have <laughs> how many children at home? Do what? Um, you are divorced, right? Terrific. Um, Vincent. But oh. that's not what we're talking about. Tell me about all the gifts and skills and abilities you have. Hello. Hello? Thank you, Rev. Your pen. This Keith. How may I help you? How's it going? Oh, my God. <laughs> Call Rev. Your pen. Oklahoma City. It's Keith. I'm help you. So, do you have like a job? <clears throat> Give me short answer. What, what what can I do for you? Right now, you're really playing the victim. What what can I do for you? Tell me about all the gifts and skills and abilities you have. What can I do for you? And you believe that this is a, you, this you is a place of business. No what can I do for you? Either you want to book a room. Or or you don't, and what can I do for you? Well, let me ask you something. No, you're not going to ask me nothing. You're either going to ask for a room, or we are done, okay? Do you this agree is a that place you of smoke? Business. He said this is a place of business. You either want to get a room uh, with money, yeah. or you don't. Which yes. is it? Yes. Yes what? Um... How do you well, you know what? I wouldn't, I wouldn't rent you a room right now anyway because we're not playing games here. We're not minors. Why we're not are in you junior so high. Triggered? We're not in high school. You, you obviously don't want a room. You just want to come and call and do prank calls or something. I don't know. But you obviously don't want a room because you're wasting no. your time. Okay? Thank you. Quit being mad at me and just love me again. Thank you. I'll read your panel. Oklahoma City. It's Keith. I'm happy. Quit being mad at me and just love me again. You know what? <clears throat> you, this really isn't funny. It's really not. It's, it's extremely childish and it's, it's kind of stupid. Okay. I obviously, don't that's obviously, true at you all. don't have a life. You don't have a life, so we're we're done with this. Try to grow up and go find somebody at the bar. It might make Quit you happy. I, I, I'm feeling if if your prank if your prank call in a motel, you can't even do that. Red Roof, and this is Anna. How may I help you? Okay, this is a, okay. This is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Yes. Uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Again? It's what? Again? They're calling again? Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. They're calling you guys again from this place? Yes, and it was, sir. We What's have it on tape that, that we had two calls from this number. That's why we called you back. I'm not a sir, I'm a ma'am. Okay, I'm sorry.
Okay, who's calling this number? Who's calling us here at this district? That's what we want to know. Hello? Yeah. Come on, I'm guy. Summer. What can I do for you? Are you for real? What do you mean, am I for real? Are you having fun? Am I having fun with what? Do you know what one is? Okay, so I am the owner of the establishment. What can I do for you? What are you? What am Come I? on, guy. What are you? Well, it's called, it's called Privacy Act, man. Come on. Privacy Act with what? What are you talking about? I, I have no idea the what the Privacy the Act is and what it curtails. Okay, so what, what, <clears throat> where, are we, where are we going with this? What, what do we need to do? What are we looking at? I have no idea. You need to fill me in. You're okay, the one so that why, called me. <laughs> we called you? Yes. Um, we don't have an outgoing phone call on this, on this <clears throat> establishment. I just have incoming. I don't have outgoing. You don't. No, so if we got to call outgoing, then we call um, from our employee's cell phone. Okay. Okay, what can I do for you? Incoming. What's that? Well, what can I do for you? Uh, I don't know. You called here, so we didn't call you. I don't know what you're talking about, guy. Even, even, even if we had phone records, we wouldn't give it out to you because we don't just let anybody call us and say, give me your phone records. What are you talking about? I didn't ask anything about phone records. What is phone records? What do you... Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this. Do not call my establishment again, or I'm going to call the cops and report this number. There is no such thing as phone records. Okay, do not call my fucking establishment again. Do you understand me? <laughs> you must have some hot life, right? <laughs> You're a child, you right? <laughs> you must not have a life. <laughs> you probably don't, don't work, again. right? <laughs> Let's see how much of a man you are. Oklahoma City, this is Buffy. <clears throat> Hi there, this is Keith. What can I do for you? Excuse me? <clears throat> How are you for real? Do what? Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having a blast. <laughs> are, you, are you calling to prank call us? No. <clears throat> So why are you calling? Give me your phone records. Are you looking for Keith? No, you're never going to get my phone number. You're crazy. You don't get no phone records. No phone records. <laughs> you need to go and get evaluation, like for psych ward or something. I think you're on some drugs. In the Do you know what system. one is? No, I don't. I'm pretty sure you can Google and find a psych ward. Google it if you know how to do that. You can't I even don't. do that. Because I'm, I'm not in an induced psychosis. You're a child, I'm right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, I think that's, that's what <laughs> you said to you guys. Because you're <laughs> like a child. You have nothing better else to do. You're extremely you childish. <laughs> no, I'm not childish. You're the one who's calling me. <laughs> this really is funny. This is funny. This is hilarious. We need to cut to the chase. Come on, guy. Come okay. on, guy. Oh, okay. Come on, guy. <laughs> how many? Let me guess how many fingers you're holding up. <laughs> even even, even if we had phone records, we wouldn't give it out to you because we don't just let anybody call us and say, "Give me your phone records." Why would you want phone records? You don't get no phone records. What is phone records? I need phone records. I need phone records. Can you give me some phone records? There is no such thing as phone records. Unless you're the FBI, it ain't going to happen. Oh, well, I've, I've got, I got the hookup. If you want to talk to FBI, do you need to talk to the FBI? Yes. I have the perfect guy for that. Okay. Try to grow up and go find somebody at the bar. <laughs> you're the one who called me. You probably don't work, right? <laughs> I don't. Oh, I don't go to bars. Bars are for losers. Is that what it is? 
Only you would know anything about bars. What are you? Huh? Is that what that is? A better person than you are. <laughs> Here's the situation. We have no idea who's calling out, why they're calling, or what it's about. You need help. Okay. Roger, friend, this is Anna. How may I help you? Hi there. This is Keith. What can I do for you? Hey, what's up? <clears throat> I have no idea. You need to fill me in. You're the one that called me. <laughs> no, the phone rang, and I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Hello? Is that what it is? Huh? Is that what that is? What do you mean? What happened? <clears throat> You're extremely childish. I'm childish? Yes. Why? Come on, guy. Even, even even if we had phone records, we wouldn't give it out to you because we don't just let anybody call us and say, give me your phone records. Keith. Yes. For Keith. Anna. <clears throat> How are you for real? What's up with you? You called. I have no idea. Are you Here's okay? the situation. We have no idea who's calling out, why they're calling, or what it's about. But is everything okay? Here's the situation. I, I, I have no idea. <clears throat> But uh, uh, come on, guy. Uh, here's the. <clears throat> I, 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 come on, guy. <clears throat> oh, you're not going to ask me nothing. Hello. Come on, guy. Best Western in Cleveland, this is Nora. How can I help you? Huh? Best Western in Cleveland, this is Nora. How can I help you? Hey, what's up? Hello? Huh? Hello, this is Best Western in Cleveland, this is Nora. How can I help you? Huh? You called. No, this number called me. Is this in the hotel? No, the phone rang, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Weird. The, my phone rang downstairs. <laughs> I'm Anna. What room are you in? Huh? What room are you? What do you mean? What happened? Are you staying at a hotel right now? Huh? Why? Because you're calling a hotel phone. You called. No, you called me. But is everything no, okay? Who are you? I don't know you. Anna. Anna who? Huh? Huh? Hello? Huh? Huh? Hello? Huh? Hello? It's Anna. Huh? Hello? Does that sound like you? What do you mean? What happened? But is everything okay? My name is Jim Bob, Jimmy Bob, Joe Bob. Why? I'm with the IRS. Okay. I know this is a recording because it's only said the same things over and over again. I'm childish? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Hello. Who is this? This number called my hotel that I'm currently working at. This is the hotel. And whoever is on the phone continues to just repeat this is Anna. 
whoever was on the phone before you. No, who was on the phone before you? All right. I I sincerely hope that you burn in hell, sir. All right, you have a wonderful evening. Red Roof in Oklahoma City, this is Buffy. Hello? Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey. Who's this? Anna. It's who? I'm Anna. Okay, do you need a room or something? Huh? What do you mean? What happened? Yeah, this is right. I don't know. It's, my phone is your phone or my phone is going in and out. This is Red River Fan, Oklahoma City. No, the phone rang and I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. <laughs> this phone is messing <laughs> up. I have you no called. idea. You called. I'm so sorry. Why? I have no idea. Like, I don't know what's wrong with the phone. It kept ringing and I answered. I don't, I have no idea. But is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. I don't, I don't even know how we got connected. Ugh. You called. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I wasn't even touching it. <laughs> but yeah, everything's good. <laughs> I have not a clue. Huh? Yeah, I don't have a clue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Why? Do what? Huh? University, please. Oh, my God. I have phone records. You're extremely childish. Sorry. Let's get real. Police, how can I help you? <laughs> how are you for real? This is University Police. How can I help you? Man, come on. Are you having fun? Sir, what's your phone number? Even, even, even if we had phone records, we wouldn't give it out to you because we don't just let anybody call us and say, give me your phone records. Unless you're the FBI, it ain't going to happen. So this is an emergency phone line. How did you Come get on, guy. What are you doing? What number did you call? I have no idea. You need to fill me in. You're the one that called me. <laughs> no, sir, we did not call you. This is a, this is an emergency line. Come on, guy. This really is funny. You're a child, right? <laughs> No, sir, I'm a grown man. Yeah. We're not playing games. Oh, my God. Are you having fun? Sir, I'm, I'm completely lost. Probably as lost as you are. You must have some hot life, right? <laughs> All right, well, if there's not an emergency, I'm going to go ahead and let you go, okay? <clears throat> I know it is. This really is funny. Thank you, call Red Roof Inn, Oklahoma City. It's Keith. I'm help you. Hello? Red Roof Inn, Oklahoma City. Yeah, Red how Roof are you? Red Roof Inn, Oklahoma City. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Good. Yes, I would like to have a room, please. Okay, you have to come in. No. Why? One better, two. I, I can't understand your phone is breaking out real bad. Now listen to me very carefully. Two. What? Tonight. Sir, I, I have a guest in front of me now. Can we speed this process up? What, what can I do for you? No! Yes, I would like to have a room, please. Just do it. Okay, then you need to, co you need to come to the office and check in. Why? Okay, all right, thank you. Yes. Fuck you. Thank you, Red Roof Inn, Oklahoma City. It's Keith. I'm help you. Are you going to help me now or not? No, I'm not. Thank you. Why? Try finding another. Try to find another place. I'm not Bitch. playing games. You okay, idiot. Thank you. 
bastard. Fair in Oklahoma City, it's Keith, I'm out you. Hello. All right, uh, don't don't call me back again. We have we have. Why? Uh, Who are you? What, what can I do for you? What what can I do for you that you're you're doing this over and over? What can Give I do me. for you? Who are you? Well, obviously I'm the front desk of the Red Roof. You're the one that called me. I'm returning the call that you guys called me. No, I didn't call you. If someone from one of the rooms called, I have no idea who it is. I'm confused. What's the point that you guys make a phone call? What are you guys trying to? What's your cheat? (laughs) Thank you. It's like some sick white boy that want to fucking nut in your face. 